and welcome to Arcade Spotlight. We're glad you can join us from the vast regions of space to follow us on this epic journey through arcade history. In today's episode, we're looking at a Namco game this time around. By this time, they're hitting their stride with Pac-Man Fever running rampant. But the company didn't stop there, releasing this gem to the masses in the arcade scene. It's fun, it's fast paced, it, it's just a great game. Galaga was released in December of 1981 by Midway. It was developed by Namco as a fixed shooter. It was meant for one to two players and comes in an upright cabaret and cocktail cabinet. First time I played it was at a pizza restaurant in Arcadia, California, and when we played it, we thought it was the most amazing game at the time. You're a spaceship at the bottom of the screen. You're allowed uh, movements uh, laterally left or right, and you've got to uh, shoot the aliens that are uh, uh, coming down at you from the top of the screen. The enemies will come in instead of a standard formation like your Space Invaders or Galaxian, they will come in and, and attack waves and run a different pattern around the screen and then they take their formation and attack you from there. You'll be doing this for a few stages until you get to a challenging stage which will require you to shoot all oncoming ships for extra bonus points. Uh, if you're lucky, you will have two ships where you do have the opportunity to have one of your ships captured. If you shoot the guy holding your ship, it will come down and give you the uh, secondary ship where you can go much longer. If not, you play with a single ship. Just try to clear the board, and then try to clear the bonus waves. First time I saw it at a Village Inn pizza place. And I saw it and I thought, hey, what is this? And I started playing it and I just fell in love with it. When I first started playing the game, I was able to get a couple hundred thousand. I thought it was really good. And then I started playing a lot more and I was able to get up to a million. And then eventually I was able to get beyond that. And there's actually 255 stages and then there's a stage zero. Some games will let you play beyond stage zero and they'll turn over and start back at stage one. I've done that about three or four times in one sitting. The most I ever got on the game was probably about 10 million on it and I stopped playing because I got too tired. I did make it to level 99 in the game. And I thought for sure I was going to see 100, and unfortunately I have never been able to go back since. So level 99 was the highest I've ever gone to. And I'm still not happy with that. <laughs> All ships have certain patterns and point values that you'll catch on to when playing, and progressing through the stages results in enemy ships becoming more aggressive. And if you get shot at all, it'll be a one-hit death. And once all your lives are lost, the game is over, and it'll show your hit-miss ratio. But you could regain lives depending on what game mode you're on. I've always liked the game, enjoyed playing it, and I've always tried to push to get a higher score on it. And that's, that's my motivation for playing it. I, I just love going for the high scores. Even with the question that we have, my, uh, my oldest son, um, it's probably the one game that he has affinity for out of everything that we have in here. The game was a massive hit for Namco, succeeding Galaxian in all respects and resulting in many ports and lesser known sequels, cameos in movies, and even recently appearing as an assist trophy in the latest Super Smash Bros. game. I think this game was a great breakout game for the uh, video game industry, especially with the shooters, and especially with the fact that it was cutting edge at the time that you were able to double up your character and continue playing as far as you can and hopefully you would be lucky enough to see that wonderful level 256 that I never got to see. <laughs> I think it's an excellent shooting game. It keeps you on your toes, it's constant action and it's just fun to play. Galaga is considered a classic in its time, and of all time for that matter, because of its simple premise and gameplay, and overall fun factor. This arcade game defines a genre, and is one that no one will ever soon forget once they've played it for themselves. This has been Arcade Spotlight, I'm Jacob Ross, and we'll see you soon.
Want to play the games featured on the show? Come check us out. We're located at 4840 East Jasmine Street, number 102 Mesa, Arizona, 85205 near Falcon Field and the Monastery. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to support the channel by giving us a like, comment, sharing the video around, and hitting that subscribe button. It really helps us out. You can also find us on our Facebook and our personal website. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll be seeing you. By this time, they're hitting their stride with Pac-Man Feather. Feather? This is what the regulars do behind the scenes, just laying in their natural habitat. You ready? Ready. Ready as you'll be ever. Yeah, ready. <laughs> Why me?